Hello everyone, welcome back to another custom die cash view. Today we have a 124 scale custom. This is, some of you guys can already tell what it is, uh, the 2021 Darlington raced version from Chase Elliott. So close, but uh, so far at the same time. Uh, I'm probably going to add a little more to this specific build because I didn't add any race wear in terms of like rubber buildup. Just because like it's hard to see it. Like, I mean, it's, I was feeling like there was really no point to doing it if you couldn't see it that much. But then, now I feel lazy for not doing it. So I'm probably going to go back and add some race wear just a little bit over the tires just to kind of show that I did put some work into it. I actually just happened to look over and realize I got the little baby counterpart to go with it. So uh, we'll be reviewing that sometime eventually, maybe. Uh, I've got a whole lot of die cash reviews to plow through. Um, try to get that done as much as I can. But anyway, again, back to this build here. Uh, there is no race wear whatsoever other than the other side. Uh, so no rubber build up, but there is some damage. And that's kind of where... This really comes into play because he smacked that wall pretty hard, left a lot of red and black uh, kind of smeared streaks going on there. Uh, kind of rubbed out his Goodyear tires. So we did do a little bit of work into it, but not a whole lot. Again, I will go back over and kind of do some brush strokes over the car for race wear. Just that way I don't feel as bad about it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the car though. Uh, Napa on the hood here. Of course, you got your little puzzle pieces uh, in the background behind the Napa. I got a freaking cat hair, you know, you know, always got a cat hair. Um, you can see my face in the background. Hello. And then you got the um, interior detail, some little lines and wires and stuff in there. Got the Elliott banner. Uh, of course, the Napa know-how roof with the number nine and the roof flaps do open. Elliott on the rear name banner. I did black out the DIN number because it's a custom. So, I mean, you don't really need a DIN number. And I think it looks cleaner with the, uh, the black back anyway. Designed. By Mary Francis Webb, hope right there on the uh, deck lid here. This is an ARC, so the deck lid is not open. Uh, benefiting Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, uh, donate to choa.org slash give. Uh, Camaro ZL1 Winnelly, Valvoline, they got the tail lights and the Chevy bow tie there with the playoff spoiler. Here is a good side, of course, we kind of showed it earlier. Uh, Courage, Universe, Napa. Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book, got two winter stickers, Chase Elliott, uh, South Dakota, Cronus, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tool, Simons, and Cincinnati there. Uh, Bravery, Hooters once again. Uh, we do have some rubbed up Goodyear tires. You can see the red and black all kind of scattered down the side uh, just from that wall contact. Strength right there down the side. Uh, of course, it's all written in like crayon and whatnot for the, you know, design. That's pretty cool. Round of 16. Wins record. I haven't seen that logo in a while. Uh, NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Lumar. Adrenaline Shock. Missed that sponsor. Um, got some more race wear around the wheel well. Of course, you got the actual tire there all rubbed off. Number nine. I figured there would be a Sunoco down there, but I guess not. Uh, of course, you got your Z01 front end. Very nicely wrapped. Again, there is no race wear because it, it would be hard to tell, so I kind of didn't do it. Uh, no race wear on the tires. Over on the other side, they are pretty clean. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of go over that uh, window net with black paint because it got some glue residue on there. You can see some of the interior detail there. Uh, not a whole lot going on. So you got the get bioethanol ring. And then under, underneath, we got some coloration that I kind of worked on. The things I did not paint was this here. I did paint the blue, but the actual transmission and exhaust I did not paint. Uh, of course, the fuel cell, this little red thing. The axle and the brackets there. I painted those. Silver transmission or uh, drive shaft there. That one's got uh, painted. The underneath is a little cracked, but uh, it's okay. It's fixed. But yeah, so as far as under the hood goes, I did not do anything differently. I'm going to start, maybe, I might uh, start doing some of the tethers on the inside just for detail. But you can see, do have some coloration in there. Got some of the blue. That's uh, hard to see, but it's it's in there. Underneath the hood, we do have Chevrolet, and that's uh, that's it. So that's pretty much all for this uh, specific custom. I'm not going to lie. I did kind of hold off on this custom just because I feel like it was going to be pretty difficult, which, I mean, in hindsight, it was. Just because that, that wall scrape is definitely kind of hard to recreate. So we go, we got as close as we could without 
uh, doing a little too much. So there's kind of the pose for the thumbnail, but with that being said, that'll be all for this custom diecast review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't want the phone like me.